Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is this makeup look. So I didn't film my foundation off of on the camera, I did it off and I only film one eye, it's gonna be a voiceover. But I will list all the products below just so you can check them out if you do wanna know. And the main things I did use was just this Makeup, makeup Revolution palette and um, new trials 2 reloaded reloaded new trials 2 and um, it has lots of kind of nice ready colors kind of happening and um, which i really like and um, but still has like a slight bit of pink as well so i do think that palette's great and then i use the cc palette by Inglot, the collaboration i use the white out of this and um, but it also has like red and stuff as well that's really good um and then the blushing hearts and um, makeup revolution I have a highlighter which I really like, I'll talk about it throughout the video anyway. But yeah, stay tuned if you want to know how to complete this makeup look. It's really cute and really fun and I really hope this year we can do stuff for Halloween. Um, I know me personally, when I go into the salon and work, I'm still going to be full glammed because I can only have my eyes done. So I'm still going to have my eyes a little bit of red and cherry and some lashes on just trying to get it through. So make sure and check out my Instagram because I'll probably do a post or some mini videos on my stories. Merry Christmas. And yeah, I feel so red with all the red on. Um, but yeah, you could also alter this look instead of red and white. You could do green and red to still keep it in Christmas theme. You could go gold and red. There's lots of versatility with this makeup look. So I think it's a really good one to have in your portfolio. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below and yeah, enjoy the video. So hey, sorry the video is a little bit darker, still trying to figure out my new lighting. So anyway, I went in with just the reddish shade in this palette and just blended it all around. It's not the most pigmented, so you kind of do have to go over a couple of times to get the shade that you're wanting. And then I went in with a concealer, with a white concealer to do the cut crease, but I just kept buffing out the red first of all. So this is a really white, it's from the NUA Pro Base. Um, it's the whitest shade concealer they have and I just applied that all over. And the reason why I wanted the cut crease to be so big was because I don't have hooded eyes as per se. I have a slight hood. So when my eyes are open, you can't tend to see what's on my lid. So that's why I like to overdo my cut crease so that when my eyes are open, you can still see something's happening, especially when I was doing this red and white pattern. I kind of wanted it to be seen and not a waste of time. Then I went in with another palette and applied white all over just to set the concealer. I just did a very light one. I didn't really mind if it wasn't turning it like white white because it was going to blend in and I was going to add some highlighter on on top as well. So mixing some Jura line in with the red as well just to create kind of an over dramatic wing liner so that the actual cut crease most of the cut crease is an actual wing liner. I made a mistake here. I was like, oh no, it's ruined. But actually turned out okay in the end, obviously. Um, but yeah, so I just wiped it over and put some more white eyeshadow on. If I was probably leaving the house in this, I probably would have had to wipe it all away. So I was happy I didn't have to. So then I just freehanded this and did, like I said, like a wide wing liner, just so I could do the red and white stripes in between. So then I just went in trying to get a similar to the other eye, but of course I didn't. Um, and I just went over with the red and white stripes to give the candy cane effect. And going in with the Blushing Hearts palette and um, little highlighter. It comes with three colors. I picked the lightest color out of it just to give it a little bit of a shimmer in between and did my inner corner with that as well. Then I went in and did some white liner on my waterline and did some red underneath and that was pretty much it. And my lashes, everything will be listed below and yeah.
so I just finished the rest of my makeup and my hair. What I used on my lips was a concoction. I used the MAC liner, he said, she said, with the lipstick satin, I think, because it's kind of rubbed off the end, but it's really red. And then just to help give it a little bit of a gloss, I used Maybelline Baby Crayon in the red one, I guess. Oh, Candy Red, 005, Candy Red. Um, my lashes, I use So Sue Me Envy, but I think there's two different lashes in the lash kit because they're both very different on my eyes, if you look close. But um, yeah, I'm still very happy the way it came out. I used the same Makeup Revolution palette, just to add a little bit of blush all over my face and a little on my nose as well just because I think that's cute for kind of a Christmas look. I used the Blushing Hearts for my highlighter as well and um, I love this it's super intense. This one is Peachy Pink Kiss I think that's the colour it's called and it's got the three different colours so for most of this look I used the top one. Also my nails aren't done because I went to do them last night and I ended up cutting four of my cuticles while doing my nails so I just had a bit of a nightmare doing it so that's why they're not done and they look a little ugly. Um, I think on this camera for some reason my hair comes up looking a little darker unless you see it from this side because I noticed in my last video when I dyed it red it doesn't look as red in the video as it did in uh, real life or in the like the cover photo but the it's just the way the colours come up on the camera but when I turn to the side you can see I also have a little Christmas jumper it's actually November right now and I'm filming this because when I go back to work I'm going to be so busy I want to try to get some of my videos and Instagram posts done earlier but yeah so I just feel kind of in the Christmas spirit I was going to wear a Santa hat but it didn't really match with the whole vibe I was going for so I just think this is a cute makeup that you could wear with literally any outfit, any eye colour and it just gives a little bit of a Christmas vibe to it. You could go a little bit redder. I decided not to just because I thought my lips could kind of do the talking for me with this look and my hair is red, my top's red as well so I thought it might be a little too intense. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It was a little bit of a voiceover just because um, I was trying something new and I just wanted to... I did this eye off camera and then I just want to do and I'm trying to like focus rather than talk it through so the voiceover I hope you enjoy and yeah check me out my all my other videos and um, it's gonna be Christmas videos for the next couple of weeks um just kind of Christmas themed ones are like things you can wear to Christmas parties all going ahead that we can actually do some Christmas parties but sometimes it's nice just say that I've been makeup going for a walk or just you know take some photos at home and stuff as well to still get into Christmas spirit so yeah let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video.